All right, let's make a formal introduction for our listeners. Uh, good afternoon, Minika. My name is Claudia. I'm calling you from Washington, D.C., uh, from the Students in Fairfax City. We're very humble and, and grateful that Dominica Samara accepted our invitation to the show. Dominica, welcome to the show. Hello, Claudio. Nice to see you. I'm very happy to be with you. I'm very honored, and, and, and this is an amazing program. Yeah, thank you. No problem. The honor of mine. Let's go back to the beginning. Um, I know you were born in Poland, but were you born like in a musical family? I mean, were you taking, how old were you, you taking piano lessons or guitar lessons when you were a little kid? Yeah, this is a good question because uh, my grandfather, Stanisław, he passed away, unfortunately. Uh, he was for me the best inspiration for music education because yeah. he was an uh, organist. He played in church. Uh, yeah. And he lived in my house with my family, so he was my first teacher of piano, piano teacher. Yeah. And uh, I, I always uh, playing with him and singing, but I feel inside that I love singing. Singing was my first love and really love of my life. But I, I start to studying with my grandfather and going to church, uh, singing, start to singing in church, uh, sacral music. And after that, of course, I go to the music school for piano. Uh, faculty after that to to voice faculty opera voice faculty mm -hmm. and this this was my beginning wait, wait. and you knew back then when you were a little girl that you wanted to be a musician yes yes i feel inside that i love it really because uh, when i when i singing in the front of small girls uh, and yeah. the girls crying was moved or was happy i i feel that i give emotion with music and I think the most important uh, mission of music is to uh, give emotion to people, to make people cry, to make people move, to make people be happy. So uh, when I feel it that with music, uh, I have this power to, to give some emotion, it was amazing. So I feel inside that I love singing. It. This is my future profession. Good for you. And of course, you knew who uh, Cecilia Bartoli was and Maria Callas. And Maria Callas is very famous, right? So. Amazing. You, but, yeah, she is unbelievable person. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, she died too soon. But uh, um, that's what the first rope I saw was. Yeah, it was La Traviata. That for sure, was La Traviata. Mm -hmm. uh, and Maria Callas is unbelievable. I I saw when I was ooh, a baby. Wow, beautiful, amazing. Yeah, I love Maria Callas so yeah. much. And uh, so you knew back then that you want to be a musician and not just a musician, but you wanted to be, you know, classically trained and, and study that. And you end up, my understanding is you end up winning a scholarship to come from, to the Verona State Conservatory, right? Yes, yes, right. Uh, I was studying in Poland in the music university, vocal uh, opera faculty. And before I graduated, uh, my professor, she told me, Professor Werner, she told me, it's possible. It's possibility to want a scholarship to Italy. Would you like? <laughs> it was for me. It was like a dream. I couldn't believe. I thought yes, absolutely, but I couldn't believe that it's possible for me. But I recording CD and my professor sent it to Italy to conservatory in Verona. And after uh, I don't remember one week, maybe they they call um, um, university in Poland. They thought oh they, they they invited me for scholarship. They paying me for one year of studying. Uh, before my graduated, the last year before graduated. So I was so happy. It was for me like, uh, wow, something like a dream, like a dream because Italy for opera is uh, like, uh, you know, the most important country. Opera was born in Italy, in Florence, in of 16th course. century. So it's tradition. It's, it was always my dream, but I couldn't believe because I didn't have connection, nothing. So, and I going to, to Verona to studying. And uh, I was very lucky because I met Maestro De Mori. Maestro De Mori, um, he was conductor of Maria Callas from uh, La Scala. And he really believes in, he believes in my voice. He told me, you have special voice. And he gave me extra um, free lessons. I don't pay nothing. He told me, I believe in you. Uh, and uh, every day I'm going after conservatory lessons. I'm going to Maestro De Mori to studying La Traviata, Tosca, the famous arias also Verdi Puccini, and uh, ah. after that, uh, after that, uh, he made me possibility of debut with him with La Bohème, and, and he was always unhappy. He always, oh no, Verdi wrote uh, piano. You you singing uh, you singing only 
mezzo forte, or he, was, he was a very old school, old school person. Yeah. Uh, very, very, uh, how to say? Um, a strict, a strict. A strict, very strict. Yes, yes, very strict. But I respect a lot of these people. This is sure. old school and very, very serious, incredible serious. He was always very serious, never smiling, never was happy. When he told me, okay, abbastanza bene, it's mean, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's mean a lot of, it's mean a lot of. He never told you, you are excellent, amazing, beautiful. Because now when I travel around the world, many conductors tell me, oh, amazing, excellent, beautiful voice. But he never told you nothing positive. I was thinking, oh, no, it should be terrible. But after that, he called me. Dominica come to singing uh, with me opera or <laughs> a concert. So I was thinking, oh, it's not so bad. So if he called me for a concert with him, it was so so amazing experience with the, with with this man, Maestro De Mori. He was like my father, like Italian father, and his wife also prepared for me dinner. Something. It's incredible people, like my family. Uh, I in Poland, I never met people like in Italy with heart, with sensibility. Who really, really believe in me? Yes, yes. Who really believe in me without interest, without the business, in, with pure heart. So I'm, yes, I'm very moved. Uh, I thank you, Maestro De Mori, for for this for everything. Yeah. And then you you knew Italian back then? No, you needed to learn the language, right? Uh, no, when I coming to Italy, and yeah. um, I just speaking Italian because in Poland, the new university we have different languages. I have the German language, I have Italian language. For singers, it's obligatory because we singing mostly in Italian language, Italian Italian opera. So it's for opera singer, it's obligatory. Without Italian language, you 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 can sing. <laughs> it's a, it's absolutely yes something obligatory. So when I came to Italy, and my professor from university in Poland, she was also very, um, yes, very strict. So I was studying a lot, a lot this Italian language. I love also this beautiful language. And when I came to, I just speaking Italian, but it was not perfect Italian, of course. But uh, I going every day to university to um, in Verona to make, yes, to make some extra le lessons for uh, foreign uh, students with Italian language. So. It was very, very helpful. I asked every friend to correct my language. So I quickly, I think in one, one, one year, I, I just was speaking well. It's, it's, it's easy language for singers, I think. And then you just, at the time, you said, well, I'm not going back to Poland. I want to stay all my life in, in Italy. Of course, that was like a dream come true for you to yeah, not just study there, but incredible. stay there. Yeah. Yes, I think that angels exist. Angels exist because always protects me. And uh, yes, some metaphysics world exists because always I uh, dreaming about something and it's arriving. It's incredible. Like also La Scala, Academia La Scala, I was uh, dreaming to performing there and my dream become true. And now I was dreaming about Carnegie Hall. It's become true because the next year I will uh, performing there. So it's, you have to wow. really dreaming. dreaming. But also working very hard because who nothing arriving from uh, from heaven if you are only dreaming you have to working very hard sacrifice sacrifice everything because voice it's a, a life instrument very serious serious instrument difficult instrument you have to study every day your diaphragm uh, I have to make some vocalize I have to make um, new repertoire I have to improve in memory. So it's it's really a lot of to studying, but it's beautiful satisfaction. Yes. So and you so you need to when you are no performing, you need to learn new yes. operas and practice the language and work in your yes. voice, work in your voice, do exercise, I suppose, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, a lot of really it's uh, Yes, many people are thinking that it's so easy. Wow, she has beautiful life. She uh, traveling around the world, beautiful dresses. And singing, <laughs> but it's really very hard work. Very hard work because you know you understand me because you you know uh, you are also artist, so you know so you have to always practice this life instrument. Uh, we have to hold discipline. No party, no alcohol, no uh, cigarettes, no um, yes, studying a lot of serious studying, memorizing new new program, new new music, new operas. But it's beautiful, yeah. Good for you, man. Were you uh, at the beginning when you moved to Verona, like the first year, it was difficult to adjust because you were missing home. You were a young girl, you know, you're 
So you were, that was before the, you know, the internet, well, the internet was there, but still living in a different country by yourself, it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't easy. You didn't have any money, right? So it was. Yeah, it was very, it was very difficult because, um, yes, fortunately I have this scholarship, so I have some money every month, but it was few money. And fortunately I have also free uh, house for students and free dinners and, um, so uh, fortunately, it was not so bad, but um, it was difficult because new language, new culture, new people, um, different culture. Because uh, also, um, yes, for women alone, it's also dangerous. Sometimes it's dangerous when you're traveling alone. Oh yeah, uh, it was yes, yeah, was difficult at the beginning, but uh, I'm very hard. Not, I'm very hard inside, sensible, sensitive inside, but also very hard, very strong. Uh, I have mm. to be in this profession. If you are not strong, you don't arrive in nowhere. <laughs> you have really? to be so. Uh, yes, yes. Because you have to travel in a lot of time alone, many year, many hours of traveling in a plane, and so, yeah, it's, it's it's difficult sometimes with heavy luggage. It's um, you have to wake up very early, very often. Yes, working very hard. New people, new culture. Some sometimes jealous people. Not everybody have good energy. So. Um, it's difficult at the beginning, mm. and at the beginning also uh, when before I meeting Maestro De Mori, uh, all money that I have um, for scholarship I spent for extra lessons. I going to to famous opera singers in Verona, like wow. Maestra Ferragini, and I spent a lot of money, like one hundred euros. It was a lot of money uh, many years ago for uh, yeah. for students. <laughs> yes, but uh, I was think I was not rational. I was thinking oh. I have the last 100 euro I spent for lesson or uh, with famous singer or uh, tomorrow I will have a dinner <laughs> uh, or something, yes, or some extra food. But, uh, you know, I will, without thinking, I always chose lessons and, and because fortunately I have this protection with, um, with students. So I have house and have yeah, some food and have something, but it was difficult, it was difficult. But after this period, start to be easier, easier when I meet Maestro De Mori, working very hard, debut mm. with La Boheme, from La Boheme, another contact mm. was open, agents, management from Venice, take me for this management, I'm working a lot of Venice, Padua, Milano, and after that I'm going to work in, um, in Vaticano, I so saw working with Vaticano, so... Vaticano love a lot of music, so they, they they give us a lot of work in Italy. So many many possibilities. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Your your um your operatic debut was in was took place in twenty twenty, uh, as being in uh, Puccini La Boheme, right? That was the first one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Were you yes, were you that. nervous that day? Oh, I don't remember. Yes, for sure, for sure, because it's I always nervous before singing. It's always. Really? <laughs> Even so many concerts, so many operas, always I feel uh, adrenaline. But it's good because it means that uh, I would like to give the best, always, always, <laughs> always feel. But when you go to the, but always before, uh, before going to stage, uh, I have uh, this adrenaline. But when I'm going to sing, I just happy. I just uh, in different words, so I, I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> before good. it's always difficult. Good for you, man. Uh, you you so, but but you have rehearsed, you have memorized. The line, but still, I I will yes. be. I'm not a musician, but I will be nervous, you know. Still going the stage yeah. and singing, and you know, yes. waiting for the piano star or the violin or whatever. Yeah, you have to be always on time. For, uh, yes, in perfect time and memorize the libretto. Yeah, yes, it's a lot of elements. But yeah. uh, thanks God, I have good good memory for uh, for singing and so when I'm. And quickly memorize uh, many operas because I always practice my brain with different operas, different uh, traveling around the world. I have many programs, different leader program, um, opera program, oratorio program, sacral music program, contemporary music program. So my brain always um, exercise. So it's easier for me. And um, I think it's easier to memorize opera when we have melody and driven. Then, for for example, actors who only have speaking text, I think it's much more difficult when you don't have this melody, uh, rhythm, 
so I think uh, they have difficulties. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Music has. So, us. And what do you uh, after La Boheme? What what uh, what came next? Do you remember? After oh, La Boheme. I remember it was uh, was most many stuff. I remember it was also uh, Teatro Olimpico di Vicenza. I was yeah. performing uh, Tramonto of Coronaro. Um, Tramont of Coronara, it was beautiful uh, opera, uh, world premiere of uh, opera of uh, Coronaro. I was performing Dory part, really very nice, beautiful theater because it's only one Palladio theater uh, in Italy, so it was amazing. After that, I was performing many concerts, many oratorias. Um, I remember I, uh, I was debut also in uh, US, I don't remember which year exactly, but it was in Los Angeles with Maria Newman. It was also destiny because uh, one actor from uh, Los Angeles coming to Verona and uh, we're singing together. He, uh, this actor, Chris Alport, um, and he and another tenor from Verona and me, we make concert together, opera concert. And this actor told me, you have beautiful voice. I invite you to, um, to Los Angeles uh, to singing with Maria Newman. Maria Newman is a great composer of Walt Disney. So I going there, it was my debut in the World Grand Theater. And it was beautiful because I was performing with this amazing composer. She's, she's excellent. I like her, her music. And he's also a nice like, person, very famous because she works for Walt Disney, but she's very modest, normal. I, I like her so much, yeah. Good, good for you. You, you have, um, you know, play all over the world actually europe usa mexico argentina china south mm -hmm. korea australia you like it i'm from chile so right next to argentina yes you i like know chile i've never been in chile i hope to go because uh, i love south america I like your temperament and personality culture also you have amazing culture and Absolutely. culture in south uh, south america beautiful i love i love you like argentina beautiful yes uh, in that. Argentina, I, I feel a little bit like in Italy because many Italian was there. Also, oh, tenor yeah. with, with whom I singing um, speaks Italian, sing Italian language. So it was a very, very Italian, uh, very nice city, beautiful. Yes, nice culture. I was uh, only in Buenos Aires, but uh, I love, I like so much. Nice people, great, great hospitality, great culture, and people really uh, love love music. Really love music. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. You have plays, you have played all over the world, singing everywhere. Is any place in particular, I suppose, growing up, everybody look up to La Scala, right? Of course, mm -hmm. everybody want to, it's... Uh, yes, it's... La Scala is important. I think um, every theater where I sing, if theater, sometimes I sing also in church. I like also sacral music. Sometimes I perform it like Requiem of Mozart. It's also very meta metaphysic music. I love this kind of music. Um, I was performing in Lincoln Center in uh, New York. It was a very nice concert because it was a big orchestra. It was like 130 elements of orchestra. And Kevin Spacey, a famous actor, he introduced a concert. Very, very nice. It was um, yeah, wow. a very nice concert and orchestra, orchestra international around the world, musician arriving. It was like a concert for peace, something like that. It was after this tragedy in uh, New York, yes. Mm, yeah. So, no, very nice concert, very, very nice audience. I, I like to sing mostly in, in Italy and the US, I think, and South America also, yeah. But, um, yeah, but US is special because it's very good organization. Uh, Italy is amazing, but sometimes in Italy it's big chaos. People are a little chaotic. In US, I think it's better organization. Is when I have a concert there, um, some months before the, the, we have just poster, everything, program, and and everything. It's no improvisation. Everything very professional. So I really like uh, like US. Yeah, in Italy sometimes it will not start at this at, at the exact time. There's no libretto yeah. and they will never perform. Like everything is to the end instead of well organized. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Italian is big improvisation. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> improvisation. But I, I like this uh, crazy Italian mess, <laughs> even if it's mess. Sometimes it's stressful because you never know if um, musicians are arriving on time, if uh, 
I don't know if somebody will be prepared. But uh, so always it's stress, big stress before. But during performing, it's a big emotion. Everybody is very focused, concentration. Yeah. So, when, when the so concert is done, everything is good. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Before concert, it's a problem. No. Sometimes, for example, I remember when I was performing in Sicily, special Sicily is like that, in Taormina, beautiful amphitheater, where we was performing Aida. I was uh, singing Sacerdotessa. And uh, I arriving one, one week before for rehearsal. When I arriving there, a uh, conductor uh, called me to uh, sorry, the, um, the rehearsal is, ca is cancelled because somebody is ill and other people are ill. So it was crazy. I was waiting, you know, four days for nothing <laughs> there, uh, waiting for uh, for opera. After that, we, we have only only two rehearsal for, for Aida. <laughs> so it should be every day because it's very difficult opera. And, Long yeah. opera, complicated song. Sometimes happen, but but performance was great. Yes, everybody was concentrated. Everybody was, everything was great. But before it was big stress, cancel rehearsal, so everything. It's wow. And they, <laughs> they they pay you for the whole week for the hotel. The yeah, yeah. Fortunately, yes. Yeah, yeah. Fortunately, so you could stay in a hotel. My... Be, yeah, yeah. Out of pocket. Yeah, on your own. Yeah, no? yes. Fortunately, they did. Yes, the booking fly and everything. Yes, hotel. Before, but um, yes, yeah, so it's still, yeah, can happen, can, can happen only in Italy. <laughs> only, only in Italy. Is it is it difficult to make a, a good living uh, as a as a as a singer, as a musician in general? But I think the the most important thing is to, to be serious and to studying a lot, also, a lot, really studying, uh, and always put a uh, new repertoire and never. Oh. Um, thinking uh, i have this philosophy i would like to be always better 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 i'm never happy i never tell about myself oh i'm amazing i'm great singer i never tell can tell about myself this because um i would like to be better always better and try to yeah. find always some defect and try to correct and be better and voice is a life instrument have to always developing uh, yeah, yes yeah. we don't have limits limits of developing so so I think it's yeah, it's it's process of working, hard work. Yeah. You always wanna get better, get better, get better, improve, yes. improve. Right? It's always, always room always. for improvement, right? So yes. Always, and always. How, how difficult is to prepare like an opera that you never sang before? Let's say Norma or La Traviata. It mm -hmm. how long in a, how it takes a couple of weeks to prepare. Yes. It, it, uh, they say in January, at the end of January, you're going to be thinking whatever, Norma or La Traviata or something for Verdi, which in general, in general, how long does it take for you to learn learn the bar? Mm -hmm. and... Okay. This is a great, great question, very important question, because most of the operas that we have are very long operas. Oh, yeah. Um, like, like 300 pages, and you have to memorize not only your part, but also your partner part, because uh, you have to know where to enter, how to uh, make di uh, dialogue yeah. with uh, your partner and everything. Yeah. So it's um, it's long process, should be long process, but but now we live in crazy world, very fast. Everything is very fast. And uh, I remember when, was, uh, uh, when Maria Callas was alive, Maestro de Mori told me that it was, I, I don't know, maybe two months for preparing opera or three months. And you're always going to studying every day. You're preparing uh, with attention. Piano, piano, and now everything is very fast. So you have to be, for example, I don't know, agency management or conductor call you, and uh, sometimes you have to prepare opera in two weeks or three three weeks, sometimes one month. So it's not a lot of time for um, for long opera. So you have to really be very fo focus on this opera studying. I have my methodology of studying. For example, um, first I try to translate the text, the libretto. Because libretto is very uh, metaphoric language. It's not a uh, popular normal language that we use every day, especially Italian language, full of metaphoric, archaic language. So I try to first uh, speaking this language, try to understand some words. If I don't understand, if it's antique word, uh, try to understand, translate. After that, uh, I try to study step by step every day. Uh, for example, from the from the morning after afternoon, uh, some hours 
I study for, for example, first act. And after that, I make small pausa and uh, I repeat this act and put something more and every day uh, repeat and put more and more and more. So a uh, voice uh, memorize quickly. Yeah, this is important. After that, I'm studying alone. This is important to have this time with alone, uh, without people. I don't transfer this period uh, when I'm studying. I don't answer phones. I try to be very focused. But after this process, when I know jazz opera, I, I go into rehearsal with pianists and with, with orchestra, with conductor, with with colleagues, with tenors, uh, other sopranos. And yeah. Wow, it's a lot of work. It's a big work. Yes, yes, it's big. Yeah. And after that, you have also work with uh, director, stage director. Yes, how to move on the stage, how to interpret interpret your part. But it's beautiful. I like this process of studying because your brain uh, really mm. have to be very quickly, very, uh, and you have to find your methodology of uh, of studying. This is very important. Yeah, I did. I didn't know. I thought that I thought when they gave you the libretto, it was mm -hmm. just Italian, but it wasn't metaphoric. So I didn't know that you need to. Uh, Right, it, it's 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 extra work there to be metaphoric, to be translated yes. to Italian and learn the pronunciation, when yes. the intonation, when it's go down, when it goes up. Learn the yes. part of your ear when he's finishing. You need to start, and it's, yes. it's, a, it's a lot, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. Yes, yes. I think it's the most important work is is this uh, translation of language of libretto. Because, um, yes, for example, I don't know, operas of, the, of Mozart, the Mozart Say that again, the, the internet was, say that again. I, I cannot, here, hold on, hold on. Ah, yes, Mozart, uh, Italian language. Go, go. Yes. Go ahead. The, the last question was in allora, the um, name of it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, so, uh, Mozart, Mozart yeah. great, great composer, uh, wrote his beautiful Anni, Le Nozze di Figaro, and Cosi Fan Tutte. These three operas, um, is out, author of libretto is Lorenzo da Ponte, amazing librettista italiano. And uh, this language is very um, full, of, very poetic and full of metaphoric, uh, met metaphoric language. So um, if you ask uh, some uh, normal people on the street, um, some of this libretto, they don't understand the language because it's different words that they don't use. Don't, don't oh, use it. It. They use uh, Italian popol popolare, Italiano popolare. <laughs> this is a more... Uh, Metaphoric, so you ha it's a very important process of translate uh, translation, make translation of this uh, libretto at the beginning. After that, studying melody, intonation, rhythm, and everything, uh, and put in our voice. Uh, yes, yes, these these arias, duets, recitativos, and uh, yes, and memorizing piano, piano, memorizing, and, and try to find uh, our interpretation, key of interpretation. This is very important. Absolutely, absolutely. In 2023, you won the American Prize Award, uh, Chamber uh, Book and Music Like Performance Soprano in USA. That was a big deal this year. Yeah, it's, yes, it was very important for me because um, I'm working with amazing composer. Um, his name is Rentovs. He was born in Poland, but he lives many years in Dallas, Texas. And yeah. he became uh, president of um, contemporary composers uh, for US. And sometimes I working with him. Uh, he called me for concerts. He gave me some uh, composition. Uh, and in this case, uh, I was singing his composition Triptico with text of Ginchanka. Ginchanka, Ginchanka he, she was a Jewish poet. Uh, she was uh, uh, kill um, in Poland uh, during Holocaust, so it's very sad history. And oh, he yeah. wrote this poet, uh, poetry, very beautiful. And uh, Rentowski wrote music, and I was performing this music with piano and and the violin. 
in the US and they they recording this music and he sent this music for this uh, award for this prize and uh, I couldn't believe but uh, we 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 won some prize for chamber music for chamber music for like uh, composer maestro rentowski like composer and uh, me like uh, interpretation like sing opera singer so i am very happy about it that people like this music our interpretation good for you good for you i saw a, a video a Thank couple you. videos uh the the mosa concert in, in busan in south korea it's it's um, it's mm -hmm. beautiful very very nice thank you so much thank you so much it's very nice and uh How long ago was that, the one in South Korea? It was recent, right? I don't remember. Uh, some years ago, some years ago, it was not, not so recent, but not so far. For, yes, some years ago, I think before pandemic period, I think. Uh, yeah, and, and, I, and the I other one that I... Mm -hmm. Sorry, the other one that but... I watched was the, uh, the live and the Museum of Biblical Art. That's also very, very nice. Yes, it was. This year, yes, it was this year. Thank you so much. It was yeah, beautiful yeah. museum of biblical art. They organized these concerts. Um, yeah, it was this year. Yeah, very nice acoustic, nice, nice, nice our ambient. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they always, um, um, you know, the dress that you're wearing, very, very sharp, very nice, very Thank elegant. Thank you so much. I've put, thank you so much. I'm working with different designer in Italy. So yeah. they give me these dresses for concert. I make publicity. For example, uh, Martha Jane. Uh, she she became become my friend. She's amazing artist designer. She makes this <laughs> sort of beautiful dresses for actress, for opera singers, uh, for Mostra del Cinema in Venice, for different events, for Fashion Week in week in uh, Milano. So I'm very honored to 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 have her dresses and uh, you yeah. know. She's very nice, also like a person. She and another also, Patricia Concari, she's a designer, dress designer from Russia in Italy. She also very often give me dresses for different concerts. So I'm very happy, <laughs> happy for this and lucky that I have, to, I don't have to buy these dresses because for every concert, maybe one dress I use two or three times for different concerts. And I need new <laughs> new dresses. <laughs> They have a lot of concerts, so yeah. Fortunately, and sometimes, sometimes you can time. you can keep it, right? But sometimes you need to return it, right? But sometimes you can keep this. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sometimes I can. Uh, they give me possibility to. Oh, you keep it. You look uh, good with this, so keep it. And maybe another time, if you have possibility, you put it in television or somewhere. So sure. sometimes I keep them. And sometimes I uh, return, yes, it depends on situation, yes. Plus, plus it's, it's good publicity for the designers, well, you know. Yes, they're also very happy because I try to, you know, make, uh, when I have, have also interview for, like with you also, I, I mentioned this, the designers, so this is uh, great publicity for them. Also, right. when I have uh, some photo for Italian newspaper. Uh, so so always um, they put also name of designer so it's, it's good oh, absolutely for, yeah. for them and for me also because yeah because it would be crazy to spend every time money for for dresses i'm not so um, how to say for me material things are not so important i uh, i prefer art i prefer spend money for different things like music like new music score to help somebody maybe to yes to invest in art to make new cd maybe or, or help some poor people but uh, to, to buy new dresses that are so expensive it's i think it's not not for me <laughs> i'm not yes. so not rational yeah. absolutely what are the three the three operas that i want to mention are, are the hardest for to learn suppose that you didn't know them okay assuming that you mm -hmm. didn't know them if if yeah. you need to learn either La Traviata, Norma, Bellini, uh, Tosca. Uh, 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 are which in the degree of difficulty are the three at the same level, or or some or or La Traviata is harder, or Tosca is harder? Which one is? Uh, yeah, great question, very uh, philosophic question, and um, I think tra La Traviata is very difficult because uh, there's three acts, and for yeah. the three different sopranos, for example. Uh, in the first act of Traviata, you need a soprano with coloratura, so very high notes, coloratura, 
very difficult in technical way for a voice, very difficult. In second act, you have to sing in a lyrical way, so big legato, lyrical, beautiful line, and uh, moving people, yes, but in different way. And second act is very long, very, it's a duet with, uh, only one duet, it's 20 minutes, so it's infinity of music and uh, text also to, to memorizing. And second, a third act, the last one, um, you need dramatic soprano, so completely different uh, kind of soprano, much more low notes, um, some recitativo, she da, Violetta dying, so it's very difficult in, in psychology, psychological way because you have to really die in, inside. Really, it's not not that uh, when I singing I oh. Uh, it's artificial uh, emotion. It's really emotion. You feel it like you die inside. Really, it's realism. Re you are very realistic on the stage. You have to feel it. Really, emotions. So it's very mm. difficult this third act, and you have to be very dramatic. So I think mm. the, all this uh, opera that you mentioned are very difficult. Also, Norma is difficult. Also, Tosca is difficult. But I think La Traviata have these difficulties because you need three different sopranos for three different acts, so it's particularly okay. difficult. I think it's uh, one of the most difficult uh, operas ever, really. Good, that, that's great. You also are the ambassador of the brand ambassador for the uh, Mater Milani cosmetic line in Italy, which is which is very good as well, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, so it's very similar like with dresses, yes, I have, I don't have to spend any also for cosmetics, I'm so lucky. <laughs> Good for you. Me, Good. Uh, this, um, cosmetics. <laughs> yeah, I'm so lucky. These cosmetics from Milano, they, they give me these cosmetics, uh, matter cosmetics, very yeah. natural cosmetics. I use these cosmetics some, just some years and really it's very, very good. Uh, honestly, it's good because, uh, yes, um, sometimes I'm very tired because traveling so much, singing so much. Oh, but, so... Uh, see, I, yeah, but I try to fresh and yes and so i think they have good products and natural biologic uh, organic products so i i like this line yeah yeah and i want to obviously i want to mention the because it will it will help for publicity to you as well the designer including uh rosy garbo <laughs> ella birum and marta jen alessani which oh, is yeah. So ah thank you so much. Yes, Marta Jane, this is uh, my my friend that I just mentioned. She's amazing designer. Oh, I forget. Yeah. Thank you so much for mentioning Rosie no Garbo. Problem. She's amazing designer from um, yeah. from uh, Padua. Uh, she's very famous also in Italy because she uh, performs with this beautiful dress in the Fashion Week. She makes these mm -hmm. dresses for famous actress for uh, also for singers like Katia Ricciarelli. And, uh, mm. others people very famous so so very very lucky to, to working with her and Ella Caron she's from Poland she's designer from uh, First Lady uh, for First Lady dresses and sometimes she gives me also some dresses for for concert no very nice lady yeah, yeah. Mm. It, it's nice collaboration between women so yeah it's good no good good good, good for you and what would you <laughs> advise to uh, a young person interested in becoming uh, in, in becoming a, a career singer like, you, like yourself. If somebody somebody in your own your own country in Poland reach out to you, mm -hmm. a fifteen year old lady girl, say, "I want to be like you." What what what? Will you do it all over again? Will you recommend to? Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's also a great question because um, I think that young people have to understood uh, have to understand that. The most important thing is hard work. Uh, mm. I repeat, nothing, uh, uh, nothing uh, arriving from heaven. Only first talent, first impulse, like talent. Everybody of us have, have talent. You are engineer, uh, journalist, I'm singer. Everybody have um, some talent. Some people are great painters. So I yeah. received this voice. Uh, yes. And if you receive this voice, uh, it's not enough to have voice. You have to study very hard. You have to mm. start with this body because it's a life instrument. You have to work on your with your body, but also with your mind because do you have to memorize uh, very quickly. You have to be very um, determined. 
you have to study in many languages because every language is every language can be helpful for you. Uh, you have to be supposed or sacrifice everything, um, and you have to understand that at the beginning of career, um, you will be uh, a little poor because it's not possible to be. <laughs> that if you, if somebody have uh, parents very rich, maybe have easier uh, way, but um, normal people who sacrifice sacrifice everything, um, you have to pay very expensive expensive lessons of singing, sacrifice other part of life. So. Don't buy maybe uh, so dress, but uh, spend money for um, for a lesson, a vocal lesson, and and you have to invest in yourself, studying a lot of very hard. And if you studying, 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 um, I think some fortune, some happiness, uh, some help from heaven will arrive. In my case, it was Maestro de Mori who discovered my voice and start to help me. He give me. Uh, other lessons for free, so I developing myself. I didn't ha have to paint, and he gave me possibility to debut with him. So I think it's a rule. It's a universal rules. If you um, if you have talent and if you studying very very hard, sacrifice sacrifice and also suffer inside because sometimes it's very difficult. But you have to believe in yourself, your, your voice. And if you're really, really fighting and, and studying a lot of, um, I think that's arriving moment that somebody, some important conductor or pianist or director of opera, discover your voice. It, it should be like this. I, I believe absolutely. But you have also believe in yourself. Because um, in our opera world, is many also jealous people. <laughs> it's really? uh, unfortunately really? normal. Yeah, jealous. <laughs> it's crazy in classical. Something uh, special people who are never arriving to sing on the stage, uh, maybe people who sing in choir. <laughs> Sorry that I'm so honest, but uh, sometimes they are very jealous, so they try to cut your your uh, wings. But you never you, <laughs> you have to fight in always and be. <laughs> it's great, but it's true. Oh, special people who, oh, because people the male or, or the or the female, the other female would try to cut your wings. Especially female. Yeah, especially female, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Yes, but especially not, not people who are like, like Maria Carlos, big people, no, no, no. Uh, people who, who really singing well, who has talent, who are uh, who working hard, um, are not jealous. I noticed this. And people who never writing, like choir people, who never singing in good stage, nothing to do. Uh, these people are dangerous. It's It's crazy. But it's crazy mm. because they shouldn't uh, working hard. It, it, this is uh, for them, I think, solution not not to be jealous, not to to cut the wings under people. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's funny. It, it's, it's funny. Crazy. Funny that you the way you say cut the cut your wings. But yeah, they are they are crazy yeah. people. Or, or try people yeah. try to put it, you down, you know, or spread yeah. a rumor about but, yourself or this or that. They're they're always going to be crazy people. You know. <laughs> In all professions, uh, Dominica, not just in yeah. in the operatic yeah. world, but in 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 you know, if you are a doctor of a lawyer, engineer, you know, and uh, mm -hmm. it, uh, yeah, I can it, imagine the same. Yes, I can imagine that also in your your world could happen. Yes, some some yeah. It's always yeah. going to be crazy people. You're going to be playing the twenty eighth, which is a couple days, and the 29th, the first one you're doing yes. in Pescara. And then you do, and yes. you go to uh, Bergamo, right? The 29th, right? Yes, yes, right, yes, yes. yes. So tomorrow morning, uh, I go. I take a fast train. Fortunately, we have good train in Italy, and I go yeah. to Scara and make, make rehearsal with pianists. And um, after tomorrow, we have festival of classical music. Yeah. Scara, yes. After that, I come back to to Bergamo for two concerts. Uh, with orchestra, mm -hmm. yes, 29 and 30 is my the last concert in this year. Last yeah. free concert I have to hold. <laughs> Good energy. <laughs> yeah. And then you're yeah. coming to United States. You I think uh, you you come in January the 20th in Wisconsin and Wisconsin. You're doing two uh two opera concerts, yes. right? And with in this Wisconsin in yes. in a month yes. for now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's very nice. Yes, I'm working with this amazing conductor. Maestro Kevin Medel, 
He's from Wisconsin. I was ju just working with him two times. A very nice collaboration, very professional, really great because he uh, conducted in and around the world international way. And he invited me again uh, with this concert with uh, classical music, many Mozart, Vivaldi, Pergolesi, very, very nice, some contemporary music. And this concert and, uh, and second concert I for, for a Polish uh, uh, community, also Wisconsin with Polish music, like Chopin, Paderewski. After that, I go to Philadelphia for a museum of Mario del Monaco. Yeah. Uh, and Mario Lanza, Mario Lanza, Mario Lanza. And I will sing recital for um, yes in honor of Mario Lanza, this great tenor. Yeah, and then you go to Carnegie Hall in April. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, wow. April fourth, fourth. I have Carnegie Hall. It was my dream always. It's it's Good incredible. For you. Yeah, I'm so happy. Yeah, I try to sing the best because it's so so important for me with orchestra and and you're very welcome on this concert. You. Thank you. I'm thank very you. happy if you have time. Absolutely. Yeah, well, and then uh, feel free to mention um, your website where uh, people can buy your music. I don't see the website you have listed different CDs that people can buy. I don't know if it's a Blu ray, just a CD, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, you, you, can, uh, you can see on my website www.dominicazamara.eu. Uh, yeah. You can, yeah, you can see uh, a recording DVD with Chopin music. Wow. Mm, this Chopin is particularly important for me because I was uh, singing in uh, La Scala also, Academia Teatro La Scala in Milano. Uh, yeah. CD, and uh, they have this CD in the uh, library of La Scala, so it's a big honor. With pianist from Padua, Maestro Franco Moro. I like this program. Uh, and also I recording recently... Uh, with guitarist um, Amadeo Carci and uh, Giuliani, Giuliani, Arias and Cavatinas, also very beautiful music. And they're planning new new CD for the next year with um, American pianist, very good, uh, uh, Clipper Erickson. I'm working with him when I'm coming to US. We're planning to recording uh, Bellini Arias, yes, Arias da Camera of Bellini. So uh, probably the next year uh, CD. Hope will be okay. <laughs> and recently, also uh, Marco Verba, amazing composer, Italian uh, film composer, yeah. uh, he recording um, his film Goffredo uh, mm -hmm. with his beautiful music with um, symphony orchestra. Yeah. Uh, where I was singing uh, two pieces, and mm -hmm. we have just CD. We have just CD with uh, with his music of Marco Verba. Really beautiful music. Yeah, I'm still waiting for this CD. But um, yes, it's it's amazing, very dramatic music. Good. They, they when they will they will release the CD, right? You know when it's coming out? No. Yeah, yes, yeah, just just the just is ready. Yes, Marco Maestro Marco wrote me that CD is ready, and I'm waiting. He told me to to that he will send me soon in these days this CD. So it's it's just ready. You can just okay. I think buy in Italy. I don't know. A website maybe also of Marco Verba. Yeah. yeah. He, he need to give me a, just, he need to send me a copy too. <laughs> ah yeah, for sure, for sure. He give you. Yeah, yes, I'm sure. Yeah, you will like it because this is a really beautiful music that you love. Uh, also tell me that you like uh, uh soundtracks of film. Of so course, yeah, film score, yeah. Uh, Marco is Marco is a very good person too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's very nice. Very yes, good. very uh, yes. Good artist also, great artist, oh, yeah. nice person, yes, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Dominica, it was very nice uh, talking to you. I, I know it's late there in Italy. It's now it's 11 o'clock, your time, right? It's like 11 right now. Yeah, it's five years. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, yes, should be, should be, should be. Yes, yes. Should be 11. It was Thank very so nice. Much. It was very nice talking to you. And hopefully, we'll, we'll do a follow up interview uh, when you are here, maybe in the Carnegie Hall, we can do or. Or Wisconsin. Well, wow. you know, I yeah. need to figure out. Uh, I will go mm -hmm. to a, at least a couple of concerts, and then hopefully we can do mm -hmm. something. I was thinking um, uh, before the show start in in the Carnegie Mellon, we can ask. Yes. To see. I can bring my um, my credentials, and uh, and then I, and then we can do like a a small a small recorded. Asking you a couple of questions before you go and 
backstage. Ah, yes. Photo. And, and Would then be we can do, maybe, yes. in, maybe it's going to be very beautiful in like I'm black and white. I don't know. I will figure out. I need to see the light. Mm -hmm. But we will yeah, do yes. something. With okay, it. okay. It will be beautiful, absolutely. I will be very happy to see you there. And yeah, you give Thank me you. good energy. You're a great person, really. I feel Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm right. Thank you. I'm and, trying to be a very good person. Thank you so much. And you have beautiful uh, and great knowledge about music and you have so prepared. Yeah, amazing. Thank you so much. Very, very No, happy. no, no Thank problem. You. Thank you very much. You. Have a great evening, Dominica. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. The best wishes. Bye, Claudia. The same to you.